This is one of the most popular ones. Hello? Ken, are the girls with you? Not yet. Two minutes from the preschool. Remember that competition we entered? Yes. We won. Can you believe it? What? Oh, well. Just in time for the girls' birthdays. I know. They are going to be so excited. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right. We'll see you soon. Don't mention the surprise. One for you. And one for you. One, one for you. And one for you. What this? And here's yours, Maui. Thanks, Isabel. What is it? She looks like a Sour Patch kid. She's like, thanks, thanks Isabel. Isabel. What is it? it? The invitations to our birthday. Yay! The food <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I love Frozen. <laughs> this little girl out here with the Jersey Shore hair. <laughs> Frozen. Me too. Who having a frozen party? We are. Sorry, Ruby. There's no invitation for you. <sighs> wee wee. I'm just joking. Of course you coming. Oh, Yay. okay, good. Thank you. Make sure you guys dress up in your frozen costumes. So you all ready for your birthday party this weekend? You mean our frozen birthday party? Sorry, yes. We sure are. We can't wait. And our friends can't wait too. We give them their invitations. Well, I think you're going to love your party this year. Wee wee. Wee wee. We might have a little surprise for you both. You told them? I just told them that there might be a surprise for them at the party. I didn't tell them what it was. Please tell us. Sorry, girls. Your daddy shouldn't have said anything. Can you give us a weedle clue? No. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. Is the surprise inside the house? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Ken's like... So it is inside the house. Is it a pony? Not saying anything. It is a pony. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> Let's go find it. <laughs> Good luck finding that pony. <laughs> Good Where luck, you, you idiots. Going? To help the girls find the pony. <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, Ken, you idiot. I want a divorce. You're dressed already? What's this little baby? Got another surprise for us? You're dressed already? We so excited last night. We get our surprise now. Come downstairs. We're all ready for your frozen party. Ta-da! Ta-da! Your father and I were up all night doing this, weren't we, Ken? <laughs> sure. Sure you were up all night just doing that. Mm, look like there's just one thing missing. What's that? Our surprise. I not see it anywhere. You'll just have to wait. Oh, Mummy and Daddy really good at hiding the pony. <laughs> this is really bad grammar. <gasps> oh! Ken, who are you dressed as? Elsa, obviously. That quiz stuff, Mummy. Nice costume, Daddy. Oh, <laughs> Daddy? I should have got a costume too. Yay! The girls are here. Happy birthday! Well, that's creepy. Thanks, girls. Whoa! Who are you dressed as, Matilda? I'm Olaf. That's my sister's name. Cool. Olaf. Olaf, more Daddy. like. Oh, ah! <laughs> Come in, everyone. Look at the pose. Come in, everyone. <laughs> to poisons. To. <laughs> Hey, Ruby, why you only got one present? I got one for you and Isabel to share. Oh, great. We have to share a present. Come in. Oh, wow. Now that is creepy. Now that is creepy. That gets my like right there. Come in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everyone just has the same voice, but they're like different notes. So she gets away with it. This looks so good. 
I want my birthday party like this. So, what are we going to do now? I glad you asked. We're going to make a TikTok. I'm going to hit the wall. To get a surprise today. Yeah. And we already know it, a pony. A, a pony. pony? Girls, we just can't find it. So, we need your help. Oh, now it's the Dora episode. <laughs> it's not. Molly, Ruby, Giselle, you walk upstairs. The rest of us walk down here. It has to be somewhere. There's no pony girl. And remember, if you not find a pony, keep walking. <laughs> or you're Ruby, isn't dead. Pony? They're here. Oh, how exciting. How yeah. exciting. Everyone down here, please. I cannot believe you two are here. I'm just gonna keep this in the background from the whole video because these don't have music. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get some horror music up in here. I can I just. I cannot believe you two are here. Hello, you must be Barbie. That's me. And the birthday girls are here. They sure are. It's Annabelle and Isabel. They have no idea that you're coming. Well, well let's make it a birthday they'll remember. Uh oh. No peeking. But we want to see. Oh, they can definitely see. You ruin the surprise. But I need to go to the bathroom. Really? No. I just want to see the surprise. Girls, are you ready for your surprise? I told you it's a <laughs> We're ready. I get to ride the pony first. May I present to you? Pony, 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 pony. Elsa pony, and Anna. Pony, pony. pony. Pony! What? Happy birthday, girls! Well, girls, do you like your surprise? Are you the real Anna and Elsa? Yes, yes dear. The real, 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 real Elsa and Anna? Last time we checked. <laughs> From Allendale? That's us. Ooh, nice Kristoff costume. Oh, thank you. I not believe it. Me too. Here we know it, you. Uh, girls, it is them. Prove it. Yeah. yeah. Free something. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Freeze daddy. <laughs> <laughs> to do that. Freeze him! Freeze him! Freeze no. him! Freeze him! Freeze him! I can't! Him. Oh, all right. What? <laughs> wow! <laughs> they are the real Elsa and Anna. Oh, wow! He's so much better than a pony! <laughs> Ken, are you all right? <laughs> The ice should melt soon. He'll be fine. Who's ready to have a fun party? Me! <laughs> Do you have to go? Yeah. Can't you stay a bit longer? We'd love to, but we have to get back to Arendelle. Oh. But if you're ever in Arendelle, you're welcome to stay with us at the castle. We Free daddy, more like of kill daddy. Of course. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you so if you can much find the for castle. a wonderful party. We had a great time. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like the best birthday ever. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, I wish they not go. I know. Why are they such terrible Let's grammar? Let's go check on Daddy. I mean, they are children. How are you going, Daddy? Are you dying? How are you going? Sorry, we ask Elsa are you to going soon? You. Are you leaving? That's all right. I'm sure I'll warm up soon. I go make a hot chocolate for you. Oh, yes, please. I'll make it. Oh, good. Come on. Where are you two off to? Opening your presents? Oh no, we seen how much it cost to fly to Ellendale. What? Let it go, let it go. 
can't hold the back anymore. These videos are exhausting. <laughs> but they're so good. Oh my gosh. More? What is wrong with you? Chat, something is wrong with you. Every single one of you. More, huh? I guess we'll do more. <laughs> Let's go to the later episodes because it seems like in the earlier ones they were catering to the trends and now they just pop off with these views all the time. Like my views ain't bad at all, but like for this kind of content, look at that. What are you doing? Let me do my work. Hmm, footprints. Interesting. <gasps> do you hear that? Yes. Somebody's playing video him. games. Aha! Uh -huh. Found you! Huh? Thanks, Tommy. But I could have found her myself. That's Detective Tommy to you. And I don't think you could have found her without my help. <laughs> Tommy, you're not a real detective. Well, I... Hey, who took my tracker? Destroyed. Oops, got to go, girls. Coming, Auntie Stacy. Just hey. let him have his imagination, kids. Gosh, he's not an adult Stacey? yet. My chocolate bar. It's gone. My, my chocolate, chocolate bar. bar. It's, it's gone. gone. Maybe you ate it already and you just don't remember. <laughs> oh. She just stares. Oh, right. So you didn't eat it. He and basically just called her fat. <laughs> That's like the epitome of Patrick saying, No, I'm gonna starve. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, Auntie Chelsea. She took it? No, but she definitely needs a breath mint. Oh! Well, who else could have taken it? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's part of a chocolate wrapper. And, oh, there's another one. And another one. Daddy, turn around. I'm busy doing my work. Daddy. Tommy, I said. Turn around, please. I thought so. But I was. Auntie Stacy? <laughs> Poop. Can. Well, it was just sitting there. Wow. Did well, you not think for a second that maybe a child was eating that and you are surrounded by a child in your own home? It's been a busy morning for me. Another case closed. That was just work, Tommy. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mummy. How was shopping? It was all right. Ken's I a fatty. I didn't find anything for me, but I did find this for Chelsea. What? Oh, wow. Really? It's for me? If you want it. Otherwise... No, I want it. Hey, how come Auntie Chelsea gets a bag? She's been asking for it for ages. Mummy, can you get me one now? Sure, thanks. Mummy, can we have some drink? Now, she really likes that bag. Well, it is pretty. Mummy, you need me to solve any mysteries for you? Maybe you lost something? No, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, can you solve the mystery of my lost love with Ken? I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, someone ate your chocolate bar. I'm fine. Oh, that bag is really nice. It's just a bag, Isabel. You sure there's no mystery for me to solve? I'm sure. I'm Can Tommy find the Oscars? That's a good one. No, I already checked. It's gone. It's gone. What's gone? My new handbag. The one you just bought me. How could it be gone? I don't know, but I can't find it anywhere. Yes. <laughs> Detective Tommy at your service. Tommy, this is serious. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. <laughs> this is my serious face. This is my serious face. So when is the last time you saw your bag? I I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's accent. Oh uh, yeah. You took your new bag to school? So she's like well, your sister or something? I wanted to Barbie's show sister? my friends. I think someone there took it. I don't understand this relationship. 
Thanks, Isabel. Tommy, do you have to do this? Do you want your bag back? Yes. Tommy, what are you doing here? I'm here to solve the mystery of the missing handbag. Okay. Now, which one of you girls took my auntie's new handbag? Kira, you look like the type that might want a pretty pink handbag. Me? No. It's very nice, but I wouldn't take it. Well, what about you, <coughs> Madison? Enjoying your new handbag? I didn't take it. I'm sure it wasn't any of the girls, Tommy. I've got this Auntie Chelsea. Miss Myers, hand it over. Hand it, it over. over. I took it. Tommy, I just... I'm sure of it. In fact, I'm so sure, Tommy, that if you didn't take it... I wanna wear on the school we might Yeah yeah you don't have to do that Tommy. You you never even had to say that. Never say that again, Tommy. Tommy! Yes, Auntie Chelsea! I just remembered. I definitely had my handbag with me at home after school. That information would have been nice to know a little earlier. Auntie <laughs> Chelsea. Sorry. Uh, well, there's no way I'm running around the school with my underwear on. So where did you put it when you came home from school? In my room, I guess. Well, we already checked your room and it's not there. Why can't I remember? Oh, you took it to gymnastics. You took it to gymnastics. Gymnastics? How do you replace W with N? Gymnastics. You took it to gymnastics as well? Well, I thought Gabby and the girls might like to see it. Oh, dear. I bet someone there oh, took it. You're right. Thanks, Isabel. You've been very helpful. Live long and prosper. Back, class. Hi, Hi Gabby. Gabby. We have a lot to get through. Hold it, hold it. Tommy, before you get started, I need to find out who took my Auntie Chelsea's new pink handbag. Ooh, that was a nice handbag. Oh. Oh, so you liked it that much, Veronica? Yes, it was. Well, hand it over. <laughs> huh? The handbag. You must have taken it. I didn't. How could I? We were all busy doing gymnastics. She's right, Tommy. None of the girls could have taken it. <gasps> How could you? Me? He's literally Me accusing Gabby. everybody. Oh, no. Tommy, do I look silly to you? Well, you waited until the girls were busy. Then you took the handbag. I didn't. Tommy, I... Oh, I know you took it. In fact, I'm so sure I just oh remembered that if you didn't take it, I'll run around the gym in my underwear. <laughs> You're going to threaten to run around everywhere in your underwear? <laughs> Why would you do that, Tommy? You're just a child. Don't subject yourself to public humiliation. You're already humiliating yourself enough as is. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Auntie Chelsea. I just remembered. I know I had my bag with me in the car after gym that day. This case is going on way too long. Once again, Auntie Chelsea, that information would have been nice a little earlier. Sorry, Miss Gabby. Now, about running around the gym in your underwear, well, that's not going to happen. Don't say that. Now, about running. So, no one took the handbag at school or at gymnastics. It's a creepy Maybe thing to say. Maybe you've forgotten where you put it. No. <laughs> I... Now, about running around the gym in your underwear. <laughs> Obviously, it's just awkward dialogue. <laughs> just what the heck? Definitely remember putting the bag on my bed <laughs> after gymnastics. And that's the last time I saw it. Which means someone in this house took it. Auntie Stacy. It must have been Auntie Stacy. Stacy has been at her friend's house, so it couldn't be her. All right. Well, that just means <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but... What? <laughs> okay, ASMR. <laughs> really? Why are you looking at me? Give me one minute. What did you tell him? You'll find out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, look what we have here. My handbag. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So who took it? Well, Isabel.
spilled this poison. This case it. sucks. Annabelle must have taken it. But I didn't. Do you really think this would be funny? It's like, imagine a scenario <laughs> where Sherlock is trying to find who's responsible for like a murder. <laughs> and then he just threatens somebody that he thinks it is to run around <laughs> in his underwear. <laughs> and then that's when somebody comes up and admits, I did it. I did the murder because they don't want to see him in his underwear. Imagine if that was a tactic that detectives actually used. I could see it. I could see it. And here it was. Annabelle, why would you take it? I didn't take it. You have to believe me. I believe you. You, <laughs> you do? do? Why do you think that? I noticed two things. Firstly, Isabel has been very helpful telling me who might have taken it. Maybe too helpful. But, and secondly, hey... There's chocolate ice cream on my bag. Exactly. Isabel had chocolate wow, ice cream. Wow, that was really slow realization. But we both did. No. <laughs> Annabelle wasn't aware to have ice cream because she told Mummy she was a clown. Oh, yeah. Which means... Wait, wait. I know who else might have taken it. Who? Um... You're a good detective, Tommy. I know. Okay, guys. I think I'm done with the Barbie videos for the day. Those were pretty good, weren't they? Good, strong videos. I'm glad that you guys were able to join me on these adventures and watching these Barbie videos. I'm going to be watching more of these, I think. Maybe I should subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Maybe I should subscribe to the channel so that I can watch more of these. But anyways, thank you for joining me today on this video. I appreciate it. It was very fun. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.